thinking about moving the souls across to the other world, which is an Egyptian idea. I'm sure you all know about it. Uh, so that was one thought while I was carving it. Also, it happened that uh, Haiti had that horrendous earthquake at that time. And so I was also thinking about those souls. And uh, also, I'm very passionate myself about spirit. And so for me, personally, the oars are speeding spirit into my life, if you want to say. I think of them that way. Um, just as the first artist spoke about his benches being a metaphor, uh, the oars are a metaphor. Um, I'm currently working with tools. The paddle being the first, then also um, I use the comb form, the African pig. I use a needle form, a plumb bob, and a ladder form. A comb untangles a needle stitches together, uh, the plumb bob for finding the center. So it's, say, it's symbolic for me for finding the divine within me. Uh, I went through a difficult time, so I had to untangle my life. I had to re-stitch it together. And then the ladder forms that I use for going to another level of consciousness. And the paddle, paddle for the oars for speeding spirit into my life. And what I do now is I offer these metaphors uh, as uh, power objects for the healing of the world. So that, in a nutshell, is where the ores come from. They were the first in the set of the tools that I'm working with. So um, I can also show you the, just to give you an idea, that's the plumb bob there, and that's the needle forms. So, just to give you an idea of the other tools, and on my website you can see all the others. But this is one piece of lignum vitae. It's a very dense wood. Um, it's a protective wood in Jamaica. The only reason I was lucky enough to have it is the trees blew down. And so I was able to <coughs> purchase them, and I've done many sculptures from the trees. And, uh, can I answer any questions? You must be very tired. <laughs> Were you aware when you made that, um, that shape that it had a resemblance to a serpent, which is the symbol of the Kundalini energy? No, I did not, actually. So um, Kundalini energy okay. is spiritual energy that basically the spine and travels up there right. until the end of the uh, I didn't consciously think of that at all, but however, I do do a little Kundalini yoga, and um, I actually I know what you're talking about, but it wasn't in my mind at that moment. Because it looks very much like. I love that idea. <laughs> Any other questions? Media person, wood I use mostly because I live on a farm and it's right there. I, we have cedar trees, mahogany trees, uh, something called broadleaf, bread nut, all sorts of wonderful woods. Um, so it's very easy for me, and it's, I'm actually really a carver first. Um, but I also do wood block prints, which is carving again. Um, and I also, I mean, I've used bronze and a uh, little bit of stone, and I paint a little and draw, yes. So is that the natural color, the wood, or did you stain it? That is completely natural. Uh, Lignum vitae does not really lend itself to being colored. It has its own oil, 
um, and it's so it's just, you can't really paint it. It's sacrilege almost, you know. So it's completely natural and has its own polish. It's like glass. It's very dense wood. It's also um, a wood that was used in shipbuilding back in the day because it's self-oiling and um, very strong, so it was used to make ships' cogs and things like that. No, um, I, uh, this pe all my work tends to be, I use electric tools, chainsaws, grinding tools, sanding discs, sanding blocks, and only when I cannot reach into the little areas do I use um, files and rafts and other things, or chisels. Um, so they're actually dangerous tools, or did I misunderstand? No, I was just asking if, you, if there's ever um, a sort of performance in presenting the performance when they're displayed. done that, I, I don't think. Yeah. Um, this particular piece actually is going to be moved onto the wall, because it's a little hard to see when you come in, so we're going to move it and probably put it on the wall, but um, I don't know about, well, I mean the canoe piece is, is something, certainly something that people touch and, or like to come and lean into the canoe and look at it. But anyway, I'm not sure I've done what you suggest. But. No, no, no. I only actually asked you if you 